Now, how do you treat dandruff, treatment for dandruff? Now, you can actually do this by removing as much scales by brushing and combing vigorously, okay? I do this most times, you know, I just, and I, you know what I like doing? I, I'll just keep something white or a paper or something, so as I'm doing it, I want to see as much as um, the dandruff that come up when I'm doing that. So you can actually do that using a small comb to actually shed those dead cells away. Another thing is that you need to wash your hair at least three, um, two or three times a week if that's your the dandruff is that much with anti-dandruff or antiseptic shampoo or soap. So another thing is that when the hair is completely dry, then you need to apply oil. You need to apply oil to the hair. So that's another way to sweet dandruff because sometimes it is as a result of when the hair is too dry. That's when you have those um, dandruff, those dead cells appearing on the hair. Now there are some home remedies, natural home remedies that you can actually um, practice to actually keep dandruff away from your hair. Now, if you know the neem leaves, okay, I think we call them dogora, uh, dogor yarrow, something like that. So those are neem leaves. You can use them to actually cut the growth of um, dandruff. Also, apple cider vinegar, baking soda, salt, cord, lemon juice, coconut oil, and then green tea. All these are natural home remedies to help, you know, your, keep your hair free from than drop. Now another hair infection we have here is hair lice. Lice. Now you need to take note that in this period of natural hair, a lot of persons are going natural, a lot of persons are keeping natural hair. Now the the, um, the surface of hair lice is now much than it was before. You know when you have um, permed hair, you tend not to find lies in it, but now it's so common. Now my daughter came up with lies and then she actually gave it to me. So what did we do? I actually cut her hair and then, you know, burnt the hair. We're going to see how to take care of all of that in the course of the lesson anyway. But now for the fact that this period is this much, you have to be very, very meticulous to see that you don't get in your hair infested with what lies. Now what are hair lies? These are small insects which infest the hair. They are parasites, yes they are, because they actually feed on your blood. So, and they can be very, very itchy. They can be very, very itchy. Now most persons miss, um, sometimes mistake the, the presence of lice for dandruff. No, yes, because they both itch. Now, lice can be very, very discomforting. So, you need to look out for, for it and see that you're not, um, actually your hair is not infested with what? Lice.